No I'll Name has always that. been incredible, but I've always looked at her as like a really dope wordsmith. Mm -hmm. And she had that kind of like uh, slam poet kind of spoken mm -hmm. word delivery. This one, she still has that, mm -hmm. but there's a little bit more punch to her bars. Dead End Hip Hop album review, No Name, Sundial. This is definitely not the first time that we reviewed No Name. We did Telephone seven years ago. It's crazy that we've been around this long and that we have reviews that are that old. Um, and we also did her album Room 25 and that was almost five years ago now. So No Name has been out the game for a little bit and has come back with Sundial. Um, not too long of a project. Only 11 songs, 32 minutes, dropped August 11, 2023. My initial reactions on this particular project is OMG. No Name is dope, has always been dope. And I think with that hiatus in between, I'm not going to front, I forgot how dope she was. I know she was dope, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So the OMG was like, oh shit, I forgot that, that she, she was, was that this dope. fucking amazing. I wonder what, so what was you looking like when you said OMG? Shit. <laughs> it was in my like, head. Like, like, like I, know, I, just, I know. I'm fucking. I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That's how people. That's how people. That's like that album cover. Just like that album cover, bro. Like bro. Album cover, bro. I'm like, what the fuck uh, is going on here? Bro? Uh, shit. Like I said, out of sight, out of mind. You know, I, I'm not gonna front and sit here and tell you that I went back to an album that's almost 10 years old and one that's almost five years old. Like I, I haven't gone back, you know, recently. Um, so again, I just, I've, I've just forgot how dope she was, but instantly reminded the first listen through this thing. So yeah, man, I, 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 I like this, this album. You said out of sight, out of mind. You said she's been gone for a minute. She quit, didn't she? Yeah, she, she quit. Yeah, she she said too many white fans, right? Yeah, she said she didn't want to make music for you. Why? Why she ain't working? You too light, bro. I'm too light. You too light. Damn. Mike said that with a straight face. Only me and B. The cappuccino burgers. Every once in a while, Rod. What? Ken, I don't know. Rod, Rod. It depends on what type of summer we have. I might get a good tan going on. I'm darker than both of you, nigga. No, I'm just saying. You know, I enjoyed it. I, you know, I was. I wouldn't say out of sight, out of mind, but I was surprised that she released an album. You know what I'm saying? Because the way. After Room 25, I was like, okay, whoop, we just got to enjoy Room 25 and Telephone if I'm in a no-name mood. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was definitely uh, kind of surprised of that, that. But after that, after listening to the project, yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, I, you know, I love to, never heard these producers on here, um, but I love the production throughout this. So, yeah. Did you review Saba? Well, he produced, I think, Toxic. Just Toxic one? Joint. Yeah. I thought it was a couple. But yeah, I thought it was a Toxic joint. I mean, overall, I enjoyed that. My initial That's thought was- Did you forget how it. dope she was? No, mm -hmm. well, not a sight out of the mind for me. Like it, I said, I was just more surprised that she released the album. Did it, it seem like she got a little bit better, or mm -hmm. was it does? Okay, that's that's that was one of the thoughts that went yeah. through my head. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, did you listen to the last projects and prepare for this, or did you? you just, mm -hmm. Really? Huh? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that. Maybe I might have to listen to the last projects to see, hear the improvement. But I mean, I was like, okay, this is this to me. It was always on par with me. It wasn't a drastic improvement and it wasn't like I put it on and I was like oh my yeah. god you're yeah. so much better but yeah. it, there were there were moments where it was like her, her wordplay had a little bit more spark to it mm -hmm. she's I don't know if aggressive is the right word it felt that way though I know like what you're talking about a little more yeah. aggressive I think potential in interlude face. she was like aggressive there was like some one. punch to it that I yeah. don't remember yeah. hearing yeah. before No I Name has always that. been incredible but I've always looked at her as like a really dope wordsmith mm -hmm. and she had that kind of like uh slam poet kind of spoken mm -hmm. word delivery she still has that mm -hmm. but there's a little bit more punch to her bars mm -hmm. i remember you did a great comparison on her when we did room 25 so she kind of reminded you of like an open mic eagle type of type of 100 yeah i still, and I still yeah, agree with that so yeah when i listened to her yeah i was like damn I, ever since you said that now when i listen to this album like fuck mm -hmm. i like mike is right oh, it was telephone that you wasn't on yeah, I he wasn't, wasn't on, rock was on, on yeah. telephone yeah, 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 yeah. yeah rock was on telephone yeah, but yeah, she yeah. was on room 25. i mean she was in my top Five um, with that room twenty five. It's twenty five, right? Yeah, yeah. That was um, the last project but, um, you made. So yeah, I, I mean, I've always liked this, so it wasn't mm -hmm. surprising that this was dope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like she's, Mike said as well, like she's a wordsmith poet. Um, so yeah, I, I do agree with it. Did sound a little bit more aggressive and like, uh, I, I don't know, like, like I'm really rich all on that. It just, it just sounded like like punchy. Like I don't, I don't know. It just something was different. It seemed like she had a lot more to, I won't say a lot more to say, but it. Mm -hmm. 
It was like, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, more yeah, to yeah. say a little bit more passionate about it. Like you, yeah, maybe you passionate feel, is a better you word feel than aggressive. It. It's, it's, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, because it, it had an edginess to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right? and I think, yeah, you know, I that's think true. with all you know the J Cole stuff and everything else that was happening, I think all of that kind of played into the creation of this album. So yeah, I, I think it, it, you definitely felt it here. You definitely felt the undertone of that here, and it. It made it made a decent soundscape, you know. On the contrary of what she was saying, as far as like you know, niggas want to hear about you know downs and you know about some hard sad shit, albums, sad or whatever. albums. But even though she wasn't really rapping about that, it, you still feel some sort of hurt or aggression in it. So yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was interesting. She took a shot at your boy. He took a shot at a lot a of lot people. Of I know. But you know what? What I found interesting about that though was um, she took a little accountability herself. Like mm-hmm. when she said the. Uh, the um, you know, go Kendrick, go, go mm-hmm. Jay, go. Coachella. And she said to Coachella, yeah, yeah. she's just like, fuck, I mm-hmm. did it too. So mm-hmm. like, I put right in line. She yeah, yeah. Like I put right in line. And, I, and yeah. I realized that throughout the whole album, she kind of does that, just taking mm-hmm. accountability for things that she's also done as well. Um, you know, not just pointing the finger because I want to say even on the first track, she said, um, "Black Mirror, drifting in and out of consciousness like the, like rappers, the rappers do." do. But, I'm but I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper too. too. So mm-hmm. I was just like, "Oh wow!" She starts off the album like because if you just listen to it, the first, first, mm-hmm. first, it sounds like she's really taking shots at people, but she's mm-hmm. also taking shots at herself mm-hmm. as well. So I yeah. thought that was really interesting about this album. It's probably smart for her to get in front of it anyway. Because mm-hmm. yeah. if she didn't, you know, everybody else would have said something. And you know, somebody, some people, some people still going to say it because they might not even sure. catch it. You know, sure. not, they might not even catch it. She's taking accountability for things that she's done mm-hmm. yeah. as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought that was very, very smart. And um, I don't know, just self-aware. Because I think sometimes with some of the stuff that she was saying, it, it, it didn't kind of sound like that. It sounded like yeah. she was on attack, but, you mm-hmm. know. Um, it, it, it felt like she removed herself from the situation, mm-hmm. from the yeah. same game that everybody else is playing. It's like you playing it too. Mm-hmm. So it almost felt like she was like an elitist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this album kind of brought it back. Mm-hmm. And you know, when y'all was talking about the aggression, she was aggressive with some mm-hmm. of her bars. You know what I'm saying? Talking about like eating the poom poom and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really remember. <laughs> Again, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Aggressive about eating the poom poom, huh? You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> so I don't remember her <laughs> being Lord like that. Mercy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't remember people. her rapping about stuff like that. And, and maybe I'm just yeah. off. Like, it's almost 10 years ago now. She was a bit more explicit. Yeah. But she, ta- she talks, yeah. Yeah. She talks she about sex. Yeah. 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 I also caught, like, bars where, I, you know, she's talking about sexuality. And, like, there was one bar where she was like, I'm not, that's just my homie. I'm not gay. Um, and then on another bar, it almost sounded like she, she likes girls. So I was a, I was a little lost. I got no comments. I didn't catch none of that. I didn't either. I didn't either. That, that yeah. wasn't on my album. Me either. <laughs> well, well, she did say it had the one bar said, I don't, and I don't even like women like that. Yeah. So, I think, so, but I, so but I didn't bar, take it that way. Though. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't take yeah, it like yeah. that either. But yeah, like I don't know. Like it just it it started making me think like, well, damn, is she? I don't. I, I wouldn't care one way or the other. I don't. I really wouldn't either. But I'm so, just saying, but I heard something that, that she put out completely there. different. I, yeah, I did too. In that, yeah, I don't really have a lot of female homies. Cause you know that, that's oh. the saying that you know women don't like to hang around other women because they mess. Oh, up. I didn't take it like that either. But that's that's a that's yeah. a that's an interesting. It is. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I just took it as like a tongue in cheek line. I didn't. I didn't mm-hmm. put that much thought into it. But I've listened to this hella times. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't take it that way. Yeah, I, I've listened to it quite a few times as well. Cause I, I would have listened to it even if we didn't review it. I'm a no name mm-hmm. fan. Um, and I saw her live once, but they messed up her. Uh, her audio shit. Mm. She, she felt man. Oh really? Where was she mm. performing at? You remember? It was on An- Anderson Pack show. Okay. She was an opener for oh, Anderson okay. Pack. Yeah. But I thought the beats were really good over here. Yeah, me too. Nah, yeah. So you said there was uh, Saba did one. He did Toxic. Yeah. Toxic. Toxic. Yeah. Was that was the jam. Yeah. 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 She had some really nice lines on that. Something like I cleared out the past tense when she was talking about the the toxic guy she was dating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that double entendre of like past tense of like in the past, but also like the past person that was making me tense. She, that, that's mm-hmm. what I mean. Like when I talk about wordsmith, like mm-hmm. she's so fucking good at that. Like that whole song, like you could tell she was writing from firsthand painful mm-hmm. experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, man, Toxic was, was 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 one of the better songs on here, I think. And I also like how um, the potentially the interlude kind of ties into that same theme um, of, you know, I think I think 
you know, I'm not, a, I'm, I don't remember the bars like that, but she was basically talking about how we fall in love with the potential of somebody, what they're gonna be versus yeah, who they yeah, are they right are, now. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. then eventually that shit leads to toxic um, relationships because yeah. it's like, well, I want you to be this, but you're not that. So I felt, you know, so. Yeah, it's yeah. convicting, man. Like yeah. I'm sure that we all have done it at some mm-hmm. point. You, mm-hmm. you see some a potential in somebody or just any relationship really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was a very clever song as well. Like, Common, I, I, Common was fire, huh? He was. Yeah, I'm like, I, I can't know. say shit. Yeah. Common, close that You're thing the out. solo. That was, you're the was, solo. No, the, so, the solo <laughs> bar was boring. <laughs> the silo bar was really fucking. Kim was like, I heard that one. That was dope. No, nah, nah, you didn't like that bar, did you? I was like, why would you do that? I, yeah. I, I don't know, and it wasn't necessary. But I like that metaverse line where I talk about I touch where the ghetto hurts, mm-hmm. and he he just mm-hmm. he just sounded mm-hmm. really good. He yeah. did. So he that did. silo is that show that y'all? Yeah, it was. It was a when show. He, <laughs> when he said it, because I know we do frames per second, so I was just like, I, I know y'all talked about it before. I was like, I wonder if he's talking about that show that y'all. Yeah. He was he talking was. about the show. I thought, I thought it was a little hokey because he said uh, <laughs> something about um, uh, they in disguise. Or yeah, in disguise, like, like silos or something like yeah. that. My first go around, I, I wasn't looking at it. I just pressed play and was. Oh, just you listening. know, comment when comment comes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. I was like, wait, hold mm-hmm. on. She went. And, she got comment. Cause he he sounded amazing. We haven't heard from Common in a minute either. See, even he sounded surprised. See, he ain't just I me. was a little surprised. See, it ain't just me. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was surprised, Ken. Mm-hmm. Hey man, I didn't know your cousin was gonna get on this. Mm-hmm. I, I thought we were on the same. <laughs> you know, same that's Chicago though, man. She, she's from Chicago. One hundred percent representing. You know, one hundred percent. Silk money. Back. Go ahead. We ain't Bruh. talking about silk money, money and Billy. So, so Bruh. Man, hold on, hold on. Bruh. Who was the first feature on that song? Silk money. Silk money. Silk money. Silk money. I've been, shit. I've been told you, motherfuckers. Mm. Did you know? Yes. <laughs> I told you. Did you ever go listen to him? <laughs> no, nah, I, I didn't. Man, I, will I told now, y'all though. to go listen Bruh. to Silk Money. Yeah, nah, he's, he's fucking dope. ill. He's Bruh. And a lot of people aren't talking about him like that. But Man. no, he's really, really, really yeah, dope. He kind of had a Tyler cadence at one point. Like when I first, when it first came on, it kind of sounded like Tyler. Not, not completely, but yeah, I just kind of. I had to look at it like, who was that? Man, so. I knew it was him. Yeah. But, but he he was rapping, like we're talking about aggressive, he was rapping even more aggressive right. than this. Mm-hmm. God, he was good. And that whole song, like gospel, that yeah. gospel sample yeah. was just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Like everybody came to yes. rap. And hearing mm-hmm. Silk Money with her, and then hearing Woods come and, and, and clean Finish it up at the end, mm-hmm. it was beautiful, yeah. man. I, I just love that, that shit about uh, <coughs> thinking, thinking we won, but you left with, mere boys with with long smiles and these black guns it's like man jesus <laughs> come Christ, on man. man like woods is fucking ridiculous yeah. but when i when that song first came on i knew which one woods was on mm-hmm. but i was like how the fuck is he gonna rap on this beat Bruh. yeah this ain't no That's woods same, beat I, it's I not i was thinking the same thing i couldn't, thing. Not, I couldn't yeah. either i was like this yeah. is not a woods beat yeah. but nah, a gospel of sounded track like i was just like wait what, a minute man, he yeah. fucking killed he it did. they did drop they the beat a little it. bit though but yeah <laughs> Yeah, it couldn't give him yeah. the full beat. It couldn't give him the full beat. It was like, man, turn down just a little bit. Right, yeah, right. Little bit. No, but no, no, all three it. of them oh, really yeah. showed up to rap that day. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah. I just never thought I would see a day where No Name and Billy Woods would do a song. <laughs> no, right? I didn't see Me that coming either. at all. She was so random. She <laughs> tapped in, bro. Yeah, yeah she yeah. is. She definitely she tapped, tapped in. She got Billy the, Woods. The Jay Electronica, too. I, I didn't, I, like, when I heard that, I'm like, nigga, she got Jay Electronica, too. Her features on this was. Very good. What you and think about the J-L- J-L- You like the Jaylee trying to I did like the You heard about the controversy about his verse? Uh uh-uh, uh. Nah. Because she threatened that to was not a release. Promo it. for the album. Yeah, she was <laughs> she was threatened not to release the album because of the because of the blowback. Because I think she released that song first as like a like a single or like a you know mm. like to get ready. Did she? I thought she did because I remember she threatened not to release the album because of the backlash she was getting she, from. The, yeah, I think I read she wanted huh. to release it, but then the, didn't, and then she eventually came back and. Yeah, I don't think that song came out first. Are you I don't know if it came back, people, but I'm usually wrong, but yeah, I don't think people I don't were, think that song came out. First. People were talking about it like they heard. They were it. talking about the fact that she had a J Electronica feature, period. But they because were talking they think about he's that. anti-Semitic in general. Oh, but oh, they were. Wow. I thought they was talking. I, maybe I saw it wrong. I thought they was talking about like some lyrics that he said from his verse. Really? Thing. Before yeah. the album came out? Yeah, and then she was threatening. Huh. Yeah, I could be wrong. I, saw, though. I yeah. thought I saw that. I'm never gonna tell someone they're wrong for being offended, but and I'm not a scholar when it comes to. Um, uh, Judaism and anything, but mm. I don't really know, because mm. like the the stuff that my friends were saying they were bothered by was the Jakob thing, mm-hmm. which oh, yeah. Jakob is Jacob from the Bible, mm-hmm. who I guess in some circles you can say he's like the father of the Jews, mm. but Jakob, from what I understand from Nation of Islam, is 
they think that Jacob was the guy that created white people in general. Mm. It wasn't specifically Jewish people. Because mm-hmm. Jay has said shit about Jacob as well. And no one called him anti-Semitic. So I'm not really mm. sure. I'm not, and I'm not yeah. saying that Jewish people are yeah, yeah, yeah. wrong. I'm just saying I, I don't know what I don't know what it is. Mm. I, I tweeted out, uh-huh. um, oh man, no name got some things to say on this album. And I just got a bunch of tweets but like, oh yeah, what about that that J Electronica verse? What about the anti-Semitism and shit like that? Huh. And I was like, oh, what? I, I asked somebody, I said, point out what was said because I didn't pick it up, mm-hmm. you know, so. Did they point it out? Um, I can't remember, but I went and looked it up on, on Genius because I was like, what is the issue? Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to pick it up because, you know, um, I'm not Jewish. So I was I like, what is the issue? I had the same experience. When I listened to it the first time through, I didn't know there was any controversy like that. Like, yeah, I, didn't. I just listened to it. And then when I got on Twitter, that's when people were talking about the anti-Semitism. So I went back and listened to it with Genius Up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I just don't, I don't see it. So I, I posted something on Instagram to ask people to put me on game, like, what's the issue? Mm-hmm. And the only responses I got said it was about the Jakob thing. And that's what I saw on Genius when I, when I looked it up. I looked it up this morning, uh, just in case it came up, and I saw the same thing. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I, I'm just not that tapped into all of that right. to really, you know, to understand, like, the outrage. So that's you know I, that's how they feel that's on them i couldn't find a definitive answer mm-hmm. so i was looking up what farrakhan says concerning Jacob, and like i said the only thing i could find was he said that Jacob was like a scientist that created uh the devil's people which are white people uh but i'm sure i'm missing something but yeah. either way jay electronica has said some anti-semitic shit in the past plenty of times in verses and off verses Mm -hmm. i could see people just kind of being prepared for it it's like if kanye drops a a a verse Mm -hmm. and there's something even slightly sketchy you're gonna be like uh i know what kanye's talking about even if that's not what he's talking about i didn't even go looking at that hard to even see because it it, all that stuff is a a lot like and i'm like i I don't know i don't yeah i ain't have time to do all that because you're thinking flames oven right that's yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what exactly. I was thinking too. Exactly. So, so. yeah, because then he, he said, "I'm on, yeah, I'm on fly." And then he said, "I'm on fire. I'm plugged in directly to the Messiah." Yeah, I could, I could definitely see how that could be triggering. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes it's not always what you're saying. It's just you know, if you're if you're right. real life, mm-hmm. you're saying certain mm-hmm. things. You don't have to necessarily say it in a bar. Mm-hmm. You know, people might just interpret it that way. Right. I will say that her response was not the best. What did she? How? What did she say? It was just. A, it was a bit. Pretty much juvenile. like kick rocks. Yeah, yeah much. it was like pretty I don't much care like if you're rocks. disappointed. Yeah. Pretty much like, to the people that were mad. About yeah, she pretty much just. Oh, so like, she was defending um, JLX. No, no, not necessarily no. defending no. him. Just saying I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, she pretty, she, pretty yeah. much just saying she like kick rocks. And this is quotes of what she said. She said, "Niggas legit rap about." actual murder and sexual assault they commit in real life and y'all can't take a j elect verse so i read a post that she had on instagram what was that on twitter yeah that's a different thing that now this twitter. is on nme.com but the way it's on twitter but okay. the, the the post um, you're talking about where she was like i'm not going to apologize yep. for the post or for a verse that i didn't write yep that was i'm pretty sure on instagram yeah i think that was yeah, on I instagram was on she was like y'all got a problem with you go, go holler at him because yeah. he's the one that wrote it and then she was like and if y'all got an issue with me putting it on my album then you know she it's fine just don't don't <laughs> yeah. don't listen to me and become a fan anymore yeah i feel her and i don't feel her really that's, i do what too. don't you feel i don't feel like that's the best response i feel like if you if you put something like that on your album it would be different if she argued and said, well, no, he didn't mean that, or I don't think he meant that, or I didn't mm-hmm. interpret that way. But instead, she's just like, eh, if you're disappointed, that's not my problem. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Like, go listen to somebody else. That's not really a great response, in my opinion. It's not. For no name? I was... For any name. <laughs> if, <you're>, if, <laughs> if somebody is offended, especially from no name, because she's been a very big proponent of social awareness, social mm-hmm. justice, and if a group of people are concerned or bothered by something, I feel like you kind of just talk about it. And she opened real quick with stating her position on anti-Semitism as right. far as how she is, right. and that she's not anti-Semitic, et cetera, et cetera. Right. I'm, I'm not gonna apologize for what Jay Electronica wrote. Right. So she stated her stance, and then said, if <laughs> he's the one y'all need to holler at. I can't tell her what to do, but I could say this. If we released our track, 
and I'm only using you as an example, if FIFO was saying some homophobe shit, mm -hmm. I wouldn't just be like, well, go talk to FIFO, that's not my problem. I would first be like, well, shit, I'm sorry for what he said. I didn't know he said that, and now I feel fucked up about it, and I would try to get y'all to take my shit off. Now, if, it was, if I was controlling the song, FIFO would be off of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, mm -hmm. she controls all of this. She could have easily taken the verse off if she saw a problem with it. I just think she should have opened up more of a dialogue. Personally. Even though she's like yeah. really socially aware, I think she still at the same time is very unapologetic about things that she says. So I think that's <laughs> why I understand the response because she, yeah, she did say, yo, I'm not the one that wrote it, blah, 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 blah. But she also said, you know, well, y'all nigga, niggas rap about this, that, and the third, and y'all wanna get mad at jail about this. Didn't she say that? Yeah, but what about is is really boring these days. So it's like, okay, we're not we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this. Then we can address that. So I'm with you. I think she she's very very clear mm -hmm. um, on where she stands with certain things. And I think the way I took it is she was like, I'm not going to take responsibility for mm -hmm. a verse someone else wrote. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of with her on that. I understand that viewpoint, mm -hmm. especially after she you know stated her position right um, in regards to that community. Mm -hmm. right. um, and then when I read the verse, you know, I was even a little bit more confused because it gets a little bit yeah. like in the weeds on what exactly yeah. right. is what. Right. So, um, but the thing that kind of got me was her closing statement was like, if y'all don't like it, then fuck it. You know, just go find somebody else to listen to. Yeah. And that's paraphrasing. You guys go read on Instagram. No, but I was yeah. like, eh, that's a little much. It was that <laughs> and the like, I don't really care if you're just Yeah. Even if y'all are wrong, yeah. I care if you're disappointed. And I would like to explain my stance on it. But, you know, again, I'm not telling her what to do. This is just what I would do. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's her stance. That's her response. It is what it mm -hmm. is. Yeah. I would love it if someone could, like I said, put me on game and let me know exactly what it was, because I'm still a bit confused. Point it out. If yeah. you got you got a specific song you want to point out? No, not necessarily. I just really thought some songs were good. Like like I said, the balloon that song we were just talking about, the balloons <laughs> track. It was, it was good. Yeah. I like Beauty Supply too as well. How yeah, she was kind of touching on that was dope. Yeah, that, yeah, like her the way she yeah. the way she schemed that whole song, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, about women not appreciating their natural beauty and mm -hmm. being the Eurocentric, mm -hmm. like trying to appreciate that mm -hmm. more. I, I like that. I, I, that was yeah. one of my favorite joints on there and yeah. i like the namesake one too <laughs> yeah um, like I said, yeah and the whole accountability piece that i'm sure people are gonna miss yeah <laughs> i think i think that was a very important track how she opened it up with black mirror yeah oh, yeah her man, flow on, on namesake before you move off of yes, that her yes. flow on namesake Crazy. was dope right mm -hmm. that was like a more upbeat kind of mm -hmm. kind of beat mm -hmm. she was like yeah she was on, she was on, i was like oh and, shit and, all right and that yeah. and that's one of those songs that i agree with y'all with the aggression mm -hmm. Like yes. it sounded, yeah. and it wasn't like way off something different that she's doing. It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. it's hard to describe. A little more bounce to it. Yes, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Be the uh, piggyback on what you were saying on Beauty Supply. Like, mm -hmm. that's how I've always been like with my wife. I'm like, yeah, all that other stuff is cool, but mm -hmm. I want to see the fro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the nail. I don't need all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I personally just like natural beauty. So that was a super dope yeah, song. Yeah. Super dope song. And Hold and Me I, Down was good too. Mm, yeah. that, that fucking bass mm -hmm. on that shit. I was like, damn, that shit sounds smooth. It's and that, who was that feature that Ayona that's she was, was on two songs. Two, yeah. Man, yeah. she was she was, uh -huh. yeah. she was great. She put a nice yeah. touch on both of her joints, man. I was like, oh, I was gonna man. ask if y'all knew who she was because I wasn't familiar with her. I didn't with I wasn't familiar with her either. I was great. like, man. Features. I think she's from a group if I if I understand the okay. notation properly. Okay. But I like that um, that first black president. He the one that bombed us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she's not. She, <laughs> man, she, she ain't hold She don't fuck bro. around, no, bro. I, said, man. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, okay, she, okay. No name. Yep. You know, no you, name. You know she was dropping hella names. She was, bro. <laughs> right. She, oh yeah, she was. Yeah, she yeah. was. I did she appreciate that. that. Yeah. No, yeah. No, it wasn't no subliminals, no subliminals or nothing. No, 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 she was. She was very direct. Very direct with hers. I love it. No name. If you're watching. Um thank you for dropping this you know what i'm saying thank you for dropping it because i feel more women need to rap about some of the things that you're rapping about in terms of the beauty aesthetic um in terms of not if you have an issue directly say some names you know what i'm saying if that's how you feel get it off your chest and i feel that some some rappers should definitely take note in and say some of the say so you want no name to say names? Mm -hmm. Yes, I love, what doing? I love the fact that no name said names. <laughs> now, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely love that aspect of this. That was about as corny as that silo bar, bro. 
<laughs> that's not that corny. That, I know that you're one of those artists that's gonna take time to, you know, live your life, experience things, and then be unapologetic about how you feel about it and put it in your music. So again, I just truly appreciate the great work that you put out. Uh, no name, if you're watching. Uh, I know you said before that you like this is your favorite part of the review. I think last time we did it, you, you mentioned it on Twitter. So thank you for that shout out. Your last album was in my top five, um, if I'm not mistaken. Top five or top ten, but I want to say it was in the top five. If I'm not mistaken. In I'm 2018. Gonna, I'm gonna check. Yeah, yeah, check it. But nah, this was really good. Like most of the guys said here, man. Like you could definitely hear the uh, aggressiveness in your voice. Um, and, and just in the bars and your delivery, like yeah, that's that's a lot different because I'm used to hearing like those real happy kind of sounding like like I think on telephone it had a lot of that that type of vibe. But this one you was just like, no, nah, I got something to say. Just challenging a lot of things, and I and I know I personally appreciate you know challenges and the person you had on this album like Billy Woods, he challenges me on on things, especially when it comes to like capitalism and things like that. Because I'm all about trying to create generational wealth and all that, so you can kind of get caught up in that in that realm of things so i like that you know it's artists like you who challenge you know the mindset of, of some that uh come up a certain way so nah thank you for the album man it, it's, it's it's really good I, I have it on repeat right now like i'm playing this album weekly so yeah thank you for the content and i'm glad you decided to um record another album yes no name if you're watching like might as me say yeah, i'm glad you stepped back in after five years and released this nice nice art and um, thank you for being very direct. Thank you for being a very direct MC. I love your wordplay. I love your way you the way you approach songs. So that's always been dope. I always been a fan of you with that. So glad you back. Don't know if this is gonna be your last album now, but I will hope you you would be kind of inspired more to release some more projects if it, if this sounds sounds like this. So keep up the good work. No name if you're watching. Uh, really good album. Um, I, I thoroughly in, enjoyed this. Um, you know, I was it's great listening to it i was listening to it when i was taking my walk and it just yeah and, and early in the morning it was just it was just perfect um and yeah i thought the beats were great the features were great the rapping was great i thought everything on here was really 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 good and yeah it was good to have you come back because you had something to say and um i don't know where your stance is in terms of your career i don't know if you said anything about that um or not but it is good to have you back and the last thing I'll say is I love how unapologetic you are about things and, um, and you know, you, you, you stand on what, what you say and how you feel. And I appreciate that uh, in your rapping and, and other stuff. So um, in regards of how I would do things differently, but I, I do appreciate that people know exactly where you stand and they don't have to guess. So um, yeah, just just keep doing your stuff. Controversy aside, this is a great project. This is a great project. I think you sounded incredible. Um, I loved a lot of what you had to say. I don't think that you shy away from embracing the, um, the contradictions or the hypocrisy of being a human. Um, I'm a big fan of that personally. And yeah, you taking accountability for things that you might feel hypocritical about. I think that that's amazing. And a lot of rappers, or artists in general aren't that self-aware or aren't that humble to admit these kind of things. Um, I think you have an amazing ear for beats. I think you know exactly what you sound great over. I do want to steal from FIFO and swap out my uh, statement of maybe aggression with passion. Um, Cause I don't want you to take some sort of offense to saying that you sounded more aggressive. I think you sound passionate. You think, I, I think that on this album, you sounded like you really had something to say and you had this idea of exactly how you wanted to say it. As far as the other stuff goes, you know, I look at these things like they're learning experiences. The, you know, hopefully this opens up some sort of dialogue where we can learn from each other. I, you know, I'm all about that type of stuff. If I offend somebody, I want them to explain how I did and then explain to me how I can not do it again. Um, but that's just me. I would never tell you what to do. This is your life, your art, your stance, and I'm sure you're a lot smarter than me. So, um, and anyway, it goes, I hope this is not your last project. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you some more. You were never out of sight, out of mind for me because I'm a big fan of you as a person. Um, so yeah, hopefully I hear from you again. 